Let's learn in this video how to use the matrix strategy in Azure DevOps pipelines. The matrix strategy will allow us to refactor the use of jobs within a stage. It will allow us to define a strategy where we can create multiple jobs using one definition and for each job you can pass different values or different input. Here I have three examples. I will go through the build, test and stages environment and for each one we'll see a use case for how to use the matrix. Let's start with the first use case when I want to build the application and I want to validate that build or my application can build on different or on multiple platforms. So in this case I have for example a Python application and I want to build it against different versions of Python. So I would specify a build or a job for each uh, version and I want to build my application on each of these jobs with that uh, have different Python versions. So in my, uh, in my uh, YAML file for the pipeline, I created the strategy matrix where I specify the three uh, uh, jobs. So each the number here uh, or those uh, three jobs will be created because I have in my matrix three values. First job will be will have the name Python 35. That's what we have here. Uh, and it have also the build because my job called it build. So it will concatenate the name of the matrix that I define here. So for the first uh, job, it will go to build my application against the Python version 3.5, for example. So then from within the steps of that job, I go to uh, do the uh, needed work in order to, to, do the, to achieve that. Here I just uh, uh, echo a sample uh, I use a simple script that will go to echo the Python uh, version, okay? So with this, I'll be able to build my application against those different Python versions if I need to do that. Let's go now to the second use case where here I want to test my application on multiple platforms or multiple different types of VMs and OSs. So here I have the YAML definition for this stage and again here I'm using the strategy matrix in order to define my different environments or different platforms. So I want to test my application against Windows with its different versions against Ubuntu, macOS and so on. And for each OS I want to test actually on different versions. So on Windows Server we have 2022, 2019 and uh, note here for each environment, I actually define uh, the same set of uh, keys, but with different values. So for 2022 Windows Server, I specify here a value called image name with the tag 2022. And note here how inside the pool from the VM image, I'm using that image name, that variable image name, so that, that this will allow me to run my job inside that um, VM image, okay, inside that build agent. And if I have this uh, uh, with this pipeline right here, it will do, it will create those six uh, jobs and it will run each job into a different uh, build agent, okay, as specified by the value uh, image name. And for each job, it will run the steps described right here. So here again, I have a sample uh, steps that this is just a script that will go to echo the image name and run the script that I pass as a parameter or as an input for each job. Great, so not here uh, with this simple syntax, I'll be able to create different copies of that job without uh, specifying those copies or without hard coding those copies inside my uh, stage. So, and if next I have another requirement to test on another platform, then I just go to add that uh, those values onto the matrix strategy. Note here also how we are using this parameter max parallel, which is equal to six. Okay, so here I want to test on those different uh, platforms and I want to optimize the uh, time for running those different jobs. So for that, I can specify max parallel, okay? That would be uh, six in my case because they have six uh, strategies. Of course, you can put value more than that. Uh, so those jobs will run in parallel. Let's now move to the third use case, which is 
uh, here what I want to achieve is I want to deploy my application into multiple environments. So I want to deploy to production, but my production actually is, is replicated against uh, different regimes. So on the cloud, the cloud providers have those uh, ability or the notion of uh, multiple regions, and I want to deploy to these different regions. So I want to start first by deploying my application into the East Europe region, then I want to deploy into West Europe, East US, than West US. How can I achieve this? So the uh, uh, what I have uh, done here is that I defined a job that will go to define for each uh, uh, region. So a job per region. Okay. So I define my matrix strategy, give it a name, and then define the location where I want to deploy to. Okay. And from my steps, I define the scripts and the needed work in order to deploy my application into that specific region. And note here how we can access the, um, the input that we have specified from our matrix. So as we said in the syntax for the matrix, first value here, that's going to be the name of the job itself. And then the uh, second uh, the value inside or the input like location here, that's the input that you can read from inside the job. Note here another important uh, uh, note right here, that is the max parallel, I set it to one, because in this case, actually I'm not interested in having, uh, uh, into deploying in parallel, but I want to deploy reliably. I, I'm looking for reliability, I'm looking for a safe of deployment. So I want first to deploy into East Europe, wait for it, validate it, and then go to deploy into West Europe and then East US and so on. So I want to deploy sequentially here to avoid errors because if I have, if I'm deploying in parallel and I have one error, that error will be deployed into the four uh, regions or the four instances of my application. Great, let's go now to see a demo on how this works in Azure DevOps in the real life. So here in Azure DevOps, I have created that pipeline. It's the same pipeline code that we have seen in the presentation that will go to build uh, the application against different uh, Python platforms or versions that test the application against different OS systems uh, in uh, the build agent and then deploy the application into different uh, regions in the cloud, for example. I'll go to run this application. So I hit here the run button, run. It will start running my application. And here it will start first by running the first stage, which is the build stage, uh, run all the four, uh, all the three uh, stages or, or the three jobs, sorry, there in parallel. And then once it finishes, it will move to the next stage and so on, because in my pipeline, I have specified those to run in sequentially. I have here a sample pipeline that I have already uh, executed successfully. So here, uh, if we go to the build stage, we view here the different jobs that were created for that stage. So we see here the jobs for building against the Python 3.5, for example. If I go to the command line, I see here the version for my uh, Python command right there. And if I go to Python 3.6, I will see here the Python 3.6. That's the value I'm echoing from, uh, from my pipeline. Remember, in my pipeline, I have that value that will echo the version of the Python version. Uh, next, if I go to the test stage, here we have the different uh, uh, stages, okay? So here the stage or a job actually to deploy to uh, Windows Server 2022, test against uh, Ubuntu, macOS machines, and so on. And because I'm showing the environment variables, so here it will show me the name of that build agent, the different environment variables used by that uh, build agents, the version, and so on. Great, next, if I go to the prod stage from here, I see here the first uh, uh, job that will go to deploy to the region East, U East Europe, for example, with the command line that will say, hey, you have started now deploying into that region. And for the region West Europe, that's again the command line that will tell me you started deploying into West Europe. 
Great, so it was that easy how to refactor using jobs within the stage in Azure DevOps pipelines. If you are looking for more uh, resources here in this GitHub repository, you will find the source code or the sample YAML pipeline that I've used today to demo uh, the matrix strategy in Azure DevOps. Thank you.